Trem. Rapidão, né, velho? Além disso. I find the latitism really interesting. That is an elitist what I was thinking about. The mind is, whoa. It's like, Coated in gold. The mind is so strong. So coated in gold. It's like, wow. Genetics, really interesting. When I meditate upon this mind, I don't think that I've ever found a mind as profound as it. The mind is so profound. It's coated in gold. The, all the all the wiring of the mind. It, it's all coated in gold. It's like wow. The person is a, a true latest. Uh, Elitism, genuine elitism, persons like this, it's really, there's a lot of depth to it, it's not at all shallow. There seems to be a, a strong foundation. A strong intellectual foundation for the form of it, for the form of elitism which I'm thinking about. Something about the latest like this, there's a, a, a love for night time. Something about the night time. Intellectual masturbation. Intellectual orgasm or something like that. Uh, I think.
need to understand in the right ways uh, something Something dangerous of the night time, something very, very profound. It reminds me of a certain, Certain scratches and some of the apocryphal writings. Blood will drip from wood and the stones fell out of their voice. For some reason that, that gets me thinking about the night time. But there's something deeper to the night time, something Caring the thinking of people where it's like, yeah, this is really, really enjoyable, really profound. And the awaitism is in hearts at night time. People can admire nature in a different way. People can look at the moon and think, oh, looks pretty cool. Something about forests at night time, oh, I love that. I thought of being in a forest at night. Sounds pretty fun. Even better if it was raining up just a little bit. Oh, profound experience. Maybe a, a few hairs from a werewolf. That would probably enhance the experience a bit. in human form, just doing something peculiar, that, that would also enhance the experience. Wolves don't exist. Depending on how someone's defining werewolf. Back to elitism. I think that the form of elitism which I'm thinking of, I think that it provides a, a true sense of contentment. Like, yeah, 
just it says profound. I don't think that this form of the letters in itself, I don't think it, it can be thought of as being bad. I think that this form of the letters in itself, it's just like, yeah. I have some feelings about my person. I experience reality in a certain way. I enjoy um, it's, it's, uh, the ladism in itself isn't the problem, but some people which have this form of elitism. Some of the stuff, uh, not good. Back to the mind of the person, where the wiring of the mind, it's like the whole mind is coated in gold. It's like, whoa, the genetics are so interesting. People involved in the kind of genetics of the person. God was probably involved in the genetics as well. It's like combining certain couples and combining other certain couples and choosing selects select person from the offspring of the couple and, and then the profound mind coated in gold springs from that and that's clever it's very clever people's analysis of other people and the kind of genetics people have and the offspring and what the offspring will be like in different unions and getting an offspring with the most profound genetics. It's like, whoa, it's very clever. Very clever. Yeah. 
When I think about the mind of the person which has the mind coated in gold, I, I think about would a mental disorder be possible? And I remember coming to the recognition that if this person was to ever have a mental disorder, it would be because of something which happened before the age of 12. Because once the person reaches the age of 12, the, the mind is, begins to get so coated in gold that it's impenetrable to, to certain influences, intellectual influences. It's pretty well impossible to hack into after that. But AJ, the mind has a pliability to it. It's susceptible to intellectual influences and the person could get a mental disorder if something happened at that age. But age 12, far out, mind is completely coated in gold. It, it can't, it's, it's almost pretty well impossible to hack into. But far out. And I think that if this person was to get a mental disorder, it would be because of things that I've said in this video. I don't... I don't know if I would desire that. I think that the person can have the gold coated mind, or the mind coated in gold. I think the person can have that. But if something were to happen at the age of eight, far out, real mental disorder could have ensured. This person, I can remember thinking about them. Thinking about how God views the person. God can view the person as something very small. It's like, they're perhaps even the same as a pygmy. That's how. That's how small the person can be viewed by God. God can view the person purely in terms of the person being a biological organism with certain attributes. And when that happens, when the person begins to realize that God can view them in that way, or that God does view them in that way, it's like the person is like, Ah, uh, a person's like, I'm a biological organism. I experience reality. God can view me in a certain way, or God does in fact view me in a certain way. Like, oh, the 
person can begin to feel, um, have the elitism threatened. And when the elitism is threatened, the person feels a bit, ah. <laughs> I can remember thinking about David Attenborough. David Attenborough, there's little creatures in a very unique way. And um, God, if he wants to, can analyze or look at a creature in a, in a similar way to the way Attenborough looks at non-human creatures. It's like, well, very interesting stuff. Well, I've got so much. Sometimes I just think about how does God look at me? And how does God relate to me? How does God relate to elect people? I don't think he looks at creatures the same way David Attenborough does when it comes to the chosen. I think that he's genuinely loving toward the chosen. Genuinely loving. But he doesn't view them the way where it's like David Attenborough. Viewing little mortal creatures which are non human. And that's nice to reflect upon when I consider how the small humans are compared to God. <laughs> 